Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kyle Price and I play Spencer on Love at First Night. Since being on the show, my life is kind of like done a 180 in a couple ways as far as acting. Um, I just gained a lot of confidence. Like this is my first like leading role and for it to be um, such a significant role to so many people and just seeing how it impacted so many people to people's lives it just like it's mind-boggling to me it's like it's a product of hard work so of course that makes me feel good but um also just in my personal life like i can't be regular regular that much anymore like sometimes i just want to walk at the house bummy and like sweatpants and stuff like that and then i'm also conscious of like Aren't you that people coming up to me like, aren't you that boy Spencer from Love at First Night? Oh my God, I love you. And I never wanted to be that guy that was like, you meet somebody that, you know, you see off of TV and stuff like that. And they'd be like, oh, that's <laughs> you. So I kind of have to be more, more conscious of, you know, how I'm moving and, you know, what I look like when I go around. But I'm also like that anyway. I think my most unique moment, though, is right before the debut of episode one, season one, that was right before the Pulse shooting. That happened literally the day before we were about to drop our show. And um, I think that we all were feeling like, okay, well, we're about to do something great, but this moment was usurping anything that we're about to do. We want to push it back. But I, I think we made an executive decision to keep the day only because I know the, the gravity of that situation, like, and what we created was making such a special moment for everybody. And then when we did release it and we got the feedback from episode one, it was, they were like thanking us because it was like they were, a lot of people were grieving and our show served as some kind of release for them. So I knew that we were onto something special when I heard that. And then, and now here we are. Oh, oof. Oh, well, there are a few crazy fan interactions. People are crazy. But there's, um, I love y'all. This is so many people like crazy. Um, but recently, I went to, I moved to Africa for a couple months. And mind you, never been in the, in the continent a, a day in my life. Like, this is me coming back to my roots. It was day four there, and I'm out at the club with a couple friends and stuff like that. Mind you, dark as, dark as night, like 1 p.m., I mean, when I am, and somebody comes up to me and is like, aren't you Spencer from Love at First Night? And I was like, I was shook. <laughs> because I'm like, first of all, I didn't even know, like, we reached across the globe to so many people like this. Like, this person was literally freaking out in Africa. And I was freaking out too, because I'm like, I've never been, like, y'all love this show that much. But it was, it was crazy only because it was an eye-opening moment, knowing how much we've impacted not only the community, not the LGBTQ community, but just the world. Like our reach is out there. Like we created something that did, that's changing people's lives and that's amazing. So, I mean, that's something I will never forget for like the rest of my life. All right, so let's just go down the line. Um, <laughs> how I would describe my ca my castmates. Um, I'll start with Ramad. Ramad is, Ramad is, once you get with that interaction with Ramad, that is who he is. But also, he is such a gentle soul and so, like, likable and it, his energy is contagious. Like, I, what I love about him is he's the yin to my yang. Like, I'm very, I'm, I'm you know, nice and stuff too, but I'm very, like, brum, brum, brum. I'm more aggressive than he is. And, and he just sometimes calms me down. He has a calming spirit. And, and he's just a good person and he's he's helped me develop over the years of doing the show as far as like be more conscious of emotions, my emotions, interactions with others and stuff like that. So I always appreciate that about Ramon. Ramon's a wonderful human being. Chris, who, um, he, the only way I can describe him, he is a vibe. Chris is just a vibe. He is all, hey, let's bring in love. I want to calm my spirit. Like, it's all positive vibes. Like, let's go from there. And I love, love, and appreciate that about him because the character he is on the show is anti that. Like, he's completely different than, in real life than um, what you see on camera. Uh, Danielle, Danielle, Danielle is one of my favorites only because I, I see it. And what I mean when I see it is like, I've seen where she started at as, as far as like, you know, her work ethic and, um, you know, demeanor and like, you know, posturing herself to where she's at now. And I've seen such a growth in her cause she has such a strength about her personality, but it, it was kind of like held back a little bit. And just to see how much she's developed and grown as a person, like it, it 
it, it's amazing to see. All I can do is just smile every time I see her because I know I, I just love that girl so much. Um, Richard is legit one of the funniest motherfuckers I have ever encountered. <laughs> because it's always it's like even when he's trying not to be funny, he's hilarious. Like it's just it's just a gesture, it's an eye twitch, and it translates so well into each character that he plays because he's so good at what he does. Um, Terry, I fucking love Terry so much. I tell him every time he's the most talented person that I know and I just want to see nothing but great things for him. But also the fact that he's so in tune to his emotions and making everything beautiful is, it's, it's, it's admirable because not too many people put too much thought into what they're creating. And he's developed a whole world around the interactions that we have on an everyday basis. And like, and the fact that he's just so chill about everything, it's very monotone. He's like, hi, my name is Terry and I'm here. But it's very monotone, but it's so descriptive and he has so many colors to everything that he does. And I, I love and respect that about him. Winston, okay, let me tell you about Winston. Me and Winston, um, we go back and forth all the time. It's like, it's like Martin and Pam, how we go back and forth all the time. But it's always in the name of love because he's one of those people that just instantly just got it from day one. And I'm like, I have a mouth on me and he has a mouth on him. So we always go back and forth just to see who's going to win. But the thing I admire about Winston is he is so, his work ethic is really good. And he does, he's, he's one of the people you want on your team because he, he'll get in where he fits in and try to make it the best of his ability in that moment and that's that's really admirable about him and that's something that i noticed about him a lot but he's also a good guy he's a jokester but i am too so watch it oh my god ranetta it was the gold star casting of season two like we were all watching submission videos after um you know for for ranetta's part um of miss stills and we didn't need to see nobody else i was like she's it that's it she's just she's a star like she has the essence of a star and um, what I love about her is that she is following her dreams and not letting anybody get in her way about doing it. And she has such a grateful, graceful spirit. Life after love at first night, I see, I see more projects. I see bigger and better things. I want to start writing um, because I, I can be a wee bit bossy and I like, you know, creating stuff. But I, I want to perfect my craft as an actor first, but then also get into um, more more scripted stuff. I wanna, I, I wanna Regina King this shit all the way out, like actor, producer, writer, all that other good stuff. But then also, I wanna do, um, I wanna do more philanthropy work. I really like working with people and talking with people and mentoring them and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and I, that fills my spirit when I do stuff like that. So on top of doing all the great acting, flashy things, I want to, you know, help people and pay it forward because I'm always big about reaching back and helping people like get to great heights like in their own in their own way so. oh uh season three uh, there's going to be more mess of course but i think we're going to see a lot of growth in everybody's character um we left off everybody feeling kind of like in a vulnerable space but for season three i think people are going to grow emotionally um physically um they're going to become better friends better lovers better family members and just the, the, the completion of the story, like it's it's beautifully done. We got, everybody's professional, we're hitting a stride and I think everybody's just gonna enjoy it. So I can't wait till everybody sees everything.